Sometimes, when I wake, it feels like a dream, like I'm slipping through the fog of this world, and sensation is happening to me, but is not my own. Welcome, Stalkers, to Episode 1 of Season 2 of the Learner to Legend series. This is your host, Blondie, speaking. I hope you're all doing well. We are back for another season. Finally, finally back into the fray. Let's get started without any further ado, shall we? So we're starting from scratch. As you've probably, if you've been keeping up with the channel, this game is going to be heavily modded. It is heavily modded, and you can probably already see some of the changes going on with the inventory and the loadout. Link is in the description if you want to check out the mods that I'm using. This will be an interesting playthrough. Ah, we really need to go to the Palace of Culture. That's right, today, for this, for this season, we are Monolita. And what else are we going to do here? Let's choose our loadout. So, I think I've arrived at a point, I've done some testing, I've arrived at a point that I'm relatively comfortable with. Just going to be grabbing a bunch of basic gear, going to be going in, need, really need some of these. But we are kind of going in minimalist style here. As you can see, we don't have a lot of points. Um, what else have we got here? Got a med kit, we got a bandage, I really would like another bandage, one more. Need a little bit of a buffer there, so I've got three, that's just going to sit there, of course it is. Alright, we've got 40 points left, and I have a feeling that I'm still missing something. Classic Blondie. You know, a grooming kit's probably not a bad way to go, hey. I actually feel like that's... See, I did do a whole bunch of testing, and I had a, a loadout planned, but then... Then you kind of get smacked in the face, and this happens, and you... Trying to figure out what you should have, what you should take with you. This is going to be a slightly more challenging start, I would say. Ooh, that one's only 10 points. Let's grab that instead. Why is that? Why is that so low? That's fine. We'll take it. Uh, we might as well grab... We'll grab an energy drink and we'll grab some food as well. Let's do that. So let's jump straight in. Now, as you've probably seen by the splash screen, the format for this season is going to be a little bit different. Now, the beginning of the game is going to start like most other runs, but things will change at a certain point. I'm not going to say too much more about that, but you guys can just kind of kick back and enjoy the ride. But to begin with, we're just going to be shooting for some very humble goals. So, not like the Loner to Legend Crafting Challenge Season 1, where we had clearly defined goals at the start. At the moment, we're just going to do some basic scavenging and hunt around for as much gear as we can and just see if we can gear ourselves up as quickly as possible. All in, all in the outfit of the Monolita. So this should be interesting. It's quite fun playing as Monolith. I'm actually really enjoying this. And I'm also recording a bit later at night. This is in the tail end of the weekend, so... I'm a little bit hazy, a little bit tired. Let's save real quick. Equip our gear. Alright, I can hear shooty shooty pop pop going off. That's going to let us run up a little bit. And we need our backpack. Brilliant. Now we are going to be able to save anywhere. And I'm going to make liberal use of that because we're running so many mods. It doesn't make a lot of sense to use um, campfire check saves, checkpoint saves. It's just a little bit risky. Oh, look at all the dudes. Got dudes everywhere. Let's go and see what's going on over here. There's normally a pseudo giant up here, which we can take advantage of. Hello, friend. Okay, he doesn't want to join us. We're going to be looking for a buddy to join us too. A buddy or two, actually. Okay, he's not one of them. Now these guys will... Assuming that a pseudo-giant's out there, these guys will probably aggro. Whoa, whoa, don't you crash now. Be good. Hey, hey, hey. Yep, there he is. I can see him. They're going to... They're going to aggro this guy, and here we go. It's on. 
I don't think we need. Yeah, actually, I will leave automatic. Kadoosh. This guy's going to get himself wiped out for sure. His buds are going to come out and help. They're going to get wiped out too. Yeah, this guy's not going to last. He's going to get his ass tossed clean out into the center. Sent Arizona. Whoa! Don't think you're going to hit much from inside here, buddy. How'd you go? Come on. Yep, he's finished that guy off. That means this guy's next. Just got to make sure that we stay out of the firing line here, or he's going to get us instead. need to be careful that we don't get hit by the slam attack. If he focuses on us, we're dead, but... Yeah, alright, so he's not... He's not in good health. Ooh. Damn. Alright, we can grab this guy's kit. This guy's probably dead. Alright, we got him. Sweet, let's just take care of this guy. I'll take that. And let's see what you got on you, my friend. Lots of things. Look at you. All pimped out. Now we got another guy up here that he finished off. Let's just save real quick. Okay, yeah, there's the dude here. Just got tossed, man. There's one tossed salad right there. So was he the only one? Alright, I can hear a high-powered rifle going off. Pop. Just going to do a quick check of the stands up here. Sometimes stuff does spawn on the seats. I'll take care of the gear shortly. I just want to have a quick look up here. You know what, we'll take care of the gear now. Let's do that. Alright, let's unload everything. This is actually looking... This is not looking too bad, hey. 61%. Although, some of the components leave a bit to be desired. We could potentially repair this up, actually. I think, probably not a bad way to go. Accuracy is a bit higher. <laughs> by 1%. And our AK is already down to 75%. That's a bit rubbish. Alright, this is looking pretty scrappy. So let's field scrap this, toss it. Uh, I just noticed this also has scopes and stuff. It's got a red dot sight and a silencer. We could probably use that silencer, I reckon. Can we? We can. And we could probably do the... Um, is that integrated? It is. It's integrated. The red dot's integrated. That's fine. That's fine. We can we can work around that. Field strip this. Toss. And field strip that. Toss. Get us a couple of dollars, but you know, it's something. This is... It's a 9 by 19 It's not quite what I'm after. I'm looking for a 45. I want to try a 45 out. Let's just field strip this one and uh, we'll turf it too. Right, we already got some nice stuff here. Let's just run a quick repair, actually. Nice. Very nice. And... dude out there in the center. He's one of us, pretty sure. We'll be fine. What else have we got here that we can break down? Let's disassemble this. Going to try and get our hands on as many components as we can. We're not going to be able to carry everything. Now, I've got some, um, I've got some mods at work here, which basically means we don't need to look at most of the recipes that we get. There'll be a handful that we still need to look up, but for the other stuff, you can see that a lot of it's blank. We are still going to look at those, because the articles that we unlock will go towards something. And I'll be a little bit mysterious about that for now. And we got shooty shooty bang bang going on. We're just going to do a quick canvas of the stands up here, still. Just going to try and get our hands on as much gear as we can for this start. Uh, that looks like something. Well, hello. We'll take that. If it's money, I'll happily take that. Now, 
I don't know where all the stashes are in this area. I've probably forgotten more stashes than I'll be able to get. There's something down there. Yeah, it's actually decent ammo. Not bad. Alright, let's head down. I think we're good for now. Take a knee. That's another thing that we've got working against this. I do have um, a skill system modded in. You probably uh, any of the veterans will know what I'm talking about. But at the moment, all of the metrics are turned right down. And there is a reason for that. And I'll be a bit coy about that until a bit later. Alright, let's just get this gear back. See if we can catch up with any guys that want to join us. Are you, are you going to be one of them? Are you going to... Nope, he's not one of them. Okay, these guys are a group. None of these guys will join me. The group is too large. There's no way that I could... This guy's by himself. Can I... Can I interest you in something? Probably not. You seem very fascinated with dumb shit. What are you doing? Practicing. My oh, man. That guy's probably not going to want to. This guy, maybe. Nope. He's not going to be one. I bet you. Nope. Let me check this guy as well. Real quick. Not you either. Alright, well. No one wants to join us at the moment. I have had starts like this. It's fine. We can be a Nigel Nobody for now. Now, I was going to say, I know I picked up another weapon. We've got a pistol in here, 9x19. This one's modded too. Do I want to keep this? Do I want to try and repair this? What have we got here? We've got... We do have a handgun cleaning kit here. You know what? I will hold on to this one. We'll take it back to the stash. and pop it in. going to be very... Very picky about the things that I hold on to for this run. Because there will come a point where... Um, things will happen and what we'll be able to do will be a little bit limited and yes I am going to be exactly this coy all the way up until said event so eat it just gonna have to be what it is hey. this is also going to be a bit of a character driven experience and by that I mean I'm kind of going to be slipping in and out of character there will be things that I'll be discussing with you guys just like we're talking now, you know, when I'm explaining systems and things like this, but there will be moments where I just, uh, I will slip into character, and um, we're just going to play around with that a little bit. Now, what is it that we want to keep? I'm just going to get rid of all the old ammo for now. I know that people are going to be screaming at me, telling, telling me I can do all sorts of wonderful things with it, and um, my response to that is yes, but <laughs> I know what's coming. You guys don't. Okay, let's get rid of some of this crap. I can donate that. That can go. That can definitely go. Uh, that's zero. That needs to be donated. So basically anything below 60%, if you're watching the preseason warm-up stuff, anything below 60% gets sold. I'm not going to bother with it. We have 2740, which is not a lot at all, really. Actually, one of the things I need to do is repair this. Uh, so let's do that now. I'm not going to use the face mask, obviously. That will do. I am running with Grox Ballistic Overhaul. And Weapon Parts Overhaul. This is what you're seeing here. Some of this stuff is actually modded too. I have modded um, repair items like this. So that they very closely resemble, they should basically resemble anything that's in Gamma because I really love that system, that repair system and I wanted to emulate that here so those mods the, the, this change is my improvement um, that I've made it's not something that you'll get straight out of a mod, unless you're playing Gamma obviously let's pop all these back in now these can be cooked up we can... You know what? I will hold on to these for now. 
just because they will become useful at some point. This stuff is all money for now. Let's disassemble you. Hope that you actually give me parts, because disassembling with the... No, oh, it did. That's cool. Alright, these don't need to stay with us. That doesn't need to stay with us. All we really have right now is um, our AK. So that's what we're going to run with. Now, these I'm going to hold on to for just a sec, because I'm just going to see if anyone has any quests for us. You got for us Bandit in Jupiter Checkpoint. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, what else are we going to do? We're going to try and do as many jobs as we can. Uh, great Swamps. Why are they always asking me to go down to the Great Swamps? What the hell is wrong with you guys? I'm rookie, for Christ's sake. Uh, let's see if he wants to... Yeah, same deal. I do like the way these guys just kind of double up. It's basically two lots of money for the price of one. He doesn't pay as much, though. Like, Charon isn't as, isn't as generous. Um, that's all he's going to give me. Now, if we go up and see Eidolon... He often asks for mutant parts as like a test of strength. So we're going to check with him and see if he wants any pseudo-giant gear. He often does. He often asks for arms and eyeballs and various things. Yeah, we'll take that. Left off. Where are you, my friend? There you are. Gyrating. Twerking. Any work. So he wants a flash artifact. Keeper of secrets in the army warehouse. We're not quite geared for that just yet, but I would be curious to go there and have a squeeze. We'll take it. Uh, anything else? Freedom patch. Pseudo giant eye. All right, we can do that. All right, that's all he's got for us. So that's fine. It means we keep the eye we sell off the skin. That's fine. We will get another eye at some point. Don't you worry. Some point very soon, I'm sure. Ooh, what? Where did you go? Why? Why did you go upstairs? What happened there? Oh, is something a... No, there he is. What? Mm, yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. We have some money to play around with. Before we actually go and do anything with said money, let's go for a bit of a hunt around this area. So, I mean, this is all part of the early game. Anyone that's played this game kind of understands how this general thrust works. Especially if you're doing a survivalist series. You just want to try and get your hands on as much loot as possible. And so that means canvassing all of the hotspots. Like these buses. Go over here and check the back of this jeep. Could have actually roasted that meat here. Alright, bedspread, not bad. So all of the shooting that's just happened should mean that we have a fairly clear run. May even be some loner or military bodies if we're lucky that we can hopefully loot. May still have stuff on them. You can see that we're already out of breath. Now, this is a result of the skill system. What it does is it... I'm pretty certain that it reduces... Artificially reduces all of your, your strength, your stamina, scavenging skills, etc, etc. So that it can buff them up as part of the skill system. So you'll notice that we'll be running out of breath pretty quick. Not, being, not going to be able to carry as much gear. All that sort of fun stuff. And I do love the way that some of these visual mods work. It's so good. Looks so good. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, lighting. Ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, there's nothing here. Occasionally there can be stuff on these window sills. Hoping we got some gear here. We definitely got oh, what looks like a flask. Yep, sweet. What do we got here? Nothing by the looks. Nothing out in the shelter. Anything here? Must be something here. Come on. Come on. Okay, we've got some buddies up here. Yep. Okay, we got nothing here. There are a lot of monolith in this area. To start with, you'll probably notice there's a huge amount of monolith here, and, and this is fairly normal for a start here. They will all kind of filter out as of today, this afternoon, this evening, kind of thing. By tomorrow, 
the majority of them will be gone. The place will be like a ghost town again. Okay, we got fires and stuff up there. Got another bush to search. Hey, broken radio, we'll take that. Always good to get the parts. Now that's something else that I've modded too. Let's just, we'll break this down, disassemble. So broken radio is 0 0.42 kilograms, I think. If you look at these parts, you can see, compared to vanilla anomaly, they're drastically reduced. And this is my handiwork as well. I dove into the LTX files and modified a whole bunch of base component weight. Not the cost, just the weight. Because I think the weight of these was way too high. And it just makes it harder to carry that stuff around in bulk. Um, and we do need a lot of that stuff. I don't know. I didn't like it. So I modded it. Oh. Wow, okay. That was a thing. That was a thing that happened. Let's just be careful that we don't run into random radiation pockets and shite. Okay, we got some old ammo. Last test run I did in here, I actually found some expert tools, which is a really nice early find. I'm hoping we can get something like that here as well. I would not be surprised if we don't, though. Okay, we got anything in there? Let me... Looks like a... Is that a dude sitting down? Looks like a... It is. That's a dude sitting down, right? Oh, he's a shitter. How about you, buddy? Nope, nothing for you. It's just this guy's just chilling. Nope, okay. Hoping against hope that one of these guys will want to join us. We need we need a pack mule. Let's see if we got any goods along here. All right, walkie talkie, we'll take that. A woodka. Pretty sure that was something I actually forgot to grab. So that's actually a really good find. Yep. Brilliant. The water would help, but I definitely want a vodka or something. That was that was the thing I was forgetting. Look at these guys. It's, it's like they've doubled up. Oops, I didn't want to trade with you, but you did actually have something interesting. Okay, he's definitely not going to join us. Yep, there's two of them up there too. wondering if there's some sort of duplication going on there. It'll fix itself by day two, don't you worry about that. But for now, we're just going to put up with a whole bunch of monolith running around, which is fine. We are monolita. Come on, hop. Alright, let's continue our discovery. Now, with any luck, there'll be some I mean, like there'll be some bodies over this way. Uh, let's put that to single fire, hey? Pretty sure we'll be fine. Now, I also have a mod that um, makes it so that you run a lot slower if your weapon's out. So you'll probably notice me putting it away a fair bit. Sometimes in really silly situations, that tends to happen. If you've seen Season 1, you know what's coming. There'll be some dumb deaths happening at some point, I'm sure. Okay, what do we got here? Grab you. You gonna let me? Nope. Okay. Eat it. And that PDA popped up because we're close to this thing, I think. Okay, hop. Come on, hop. There we go. Okay, we shouldn't need a rifle out here. Anything that was hostile should be gone. That looks like a thing. What is that? That looks like a thing. What is that? Is that a chimera? Holy crap. And it's not looted. Um, OK, 
Okay. Did it did it kill some monolith here? Why are there no other bodies? That's wacky. Normally they would have looted this thing. That's weird. Putting that one in the weird box. Alright, what do we got here? Yeah, okay. That that's kind of freaking me out a bit. I'm not sure. Not sure why they haven't looted that thing. Just gonna head straight up the guts a little bit. Alright, yeah, so we got dudes over here. So I'm kinda confident we'll be okay. Shouldn't be anything too tricky down this way. It's kinda part of the early game that everything kinda spawns in and all the shooty shooty bang bang happens and unless you sprint to these locations you're not going to be part of the action it just doesn't happen um, but there may be some fun up here I'm just going to save usually bodies here because there's usually a squad or two that spawns in monolith attack No more. Yeah, here we go. What do we got here? What you got there, buddy? Huh? That looks like debris. That ain't nothing important. What you doing, buddy? Huh? What you doing, fella? You okay? Where's your friends? There we go. Alright, oh, wow. Yep. Yep. And we got some loners. That was not clever. And we got a bandage out of it, I guess. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. Yeah, these guys have been looted. Wow. That's a shame. Sometimes they do shoot them and they're kind of off to the side and, and they just leave the bodies. Which would have been awful. Look at this. We've got one, two. We've got three, four loners here. Five. Got a squad of five loners. It's a pretty decent size. You would think that'd be the upper end of squad sizes, but I've seen them significantly larger. Eight plus, sometimes ten or more. All right, there's no other bodies here. I think they got them. Let's move on. There is nothing else for us here. Do you know what? Let's just break down this thing. Not going to be any use to us. By the time we even get around to fixing that, we'll have found something better. That's just the way it goes. Alright, don't think we need this out anymore. Okay. Well, hello, friends. That's a lot of friends. Look at them all. Holy crap. One, two, four, six, eight, nine. Is that right? Okay, we've got some old grounds. That's just going to be money at this point. Which is fine. I am fine with money. Okay, what have we got here? More rounds? Good rounds? Rounds we can use, actually. Even better. Should actually call out to my buddies. Монолит. Монолит. Вернись к покинутым детям своим. Yes, that is my character talking. I have a mod for this. I was over the moon when I found it too. So cool. I just spout out random monolith quotes. So я здесь. Нет. Монолит. Великий монолит. Где ты? Монолит. Okay, there is something down here. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. There you are. I see you. Whoa! Look at you! I'll take your Ludius. Damn! Alright, let's sort this gear out. What have we got here? That can be disassembled. We don't have any pack meals with us, so we're just gonna have to make two.
It's actually going to be quite tricky to get all this stuff back without getting massively overburdened. Yeah, this is in really ratty condition. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to detach the silencer and the nade launcher. Damn it, we can't disassemble it. Uh, this is not going to work for me. Okay, we're just going to have to deal. Yep. Is what it is. So we're going to be a little bit overburdened. Should be fine. Hey, what do we got here? Okay, we got some fabrics. A lot of this stuff is going to end up getting sold. Just in the interim. I can't store everything for reasons that will become obvious later on. I swear there was like another stash here. Probably gone out of my mind. I have picked up, I swear I've picked up all the stashes in this area, but not all at the same time, not all in the same run. I just kind of stumble across them randomly and go, oh, new stash. Oh, a new stash. And yeah, I know I could look up maps and stuff, but that's not how I play. Alright, there can be bad stuff in this building, so I'm just going to flick it to auto. And we're going to take it a little bit slower as we go in. Just going to check a stash in the upper floor here. In the off chance, we are looking for crafting tools. Basic, advanced, expert, even gunsmithing and um, medicine. Any tools at all would definitely be a great start. Basic would be fantastic because we need that to progress. But uh, at this point I would take pretty much anything. And I do apologize if this is a little bit dark in places. We don't have a torch at the moment. That will be a purchase soon, don't worry. As soon as I can afford it, because I can't really afford that much at the moment. And it will probably be a purchase behind the multi-tool. Alright. Oh, wow. Look at you. For real. Holy crap. Plus 16 carry weight, too. Um, yeah. I was going to say, we are still overloaded. Hmm. By a huge amount? Not really. I could probably get rid of this rope. What, what could I get rid of here? I could drink this and that would definitely help. Just thinking we could break this stuff down. That would break down into stuff that wouldn't weigh quite so much. This one as well. I don't think it'd be enough. It wouldn't be enough. Yeah, and I do, I do want to break this down. Do I, though? There's always the chance of getting this, whatever's, whatever it's modded with. What do we got here? Rapid automatic release. So there's always a chance of getting that if we break it down. Do you know what? Let's get rid of the non-essential stuff. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to pop one of these as well. Alternatively, what we can do is I can break this down. Painful, but... I mean, it's at 29%. It's actually not that bad. It would be really painful to break this down. If I'm perfectly honest. Yeah, it's a heavy suit. It's actually not a bad find. I think we're going to run with this. Come on. Yep, yeah, alright. Cool. Gonna try and get this stuff back to base. That'll be the That'll be our next goal. Oh, we are pulling so much weight. Alternatively, I drop this off in a stash close by and we come back for it. This is where having a buddy would really, really help right now. Know what I mean? Yeah, I think we're just going to drop this off at the nearest stash. It's, it's way too heavy. 
I could have just left it at that stash and come back for it, but knowing me, I'd forget it. Really, really hoping. Is that a body out there? Is that a body? Looks like a body. That's a body of something. That's a couple of bodies. That's... That looks like a controller. So what the hell is that? Is that monolith? Is that what that is? Oh wow, he's not looted. He had things. Oh my dude, ouch. Alright, we're actually getting some pretty decent loot at the moment. I'm not unhappy with this at all. But I will stash this armor inside the next stash we come across. Something a little bit closer to the base, but I just want to go and explore a little bit more. I can always come back and grab that armor, but we're not going to be able to repair it right now. So it can happily sit in that stash. I'm fine. Fine with this. And yes, I know, it's dark. I'm sorry. Let's just give it a tick. Is there anything else that we can do while we're waiting? Not really. I could break down these rounds, but I don't think it's the best thing to do. Okay, we got nothing here. We got nothing there. There's a stash coming up in the little corner here. Just in this corner. Alright, let's drop it off. Yeah, there is a thing, a container back there. I'll go back for that in a tick. Just want to get this dropped off. Hop. There we go. Oh, wow. That had stuff. That is excellent. Come on. Brilliant. So that can stay. You know what? I'm even thinking this can stay just to help us out a little bit with the burden. Brilliant. That's perfect. We'll come back for this stuff. Alright. Just going to bust this crate here. This little container. Nothing, of course. My weapon is functional as my guy examines his piece. Well done. Okay, let's just save right now. Something I'm really shocking at doing is forgetting to save. I guess I'm just used to the campfire challenge from last season. Okay. Nothing in there. Oh yeah, we've got a journal. That's fine. Oh. Alright, we're just going to run through and check a few other stash. There we go. Strong energy. we got our strong energy drink back again. I don't like doing this in the dark because I know that you guys can't see squat. But there is loot in here. And if there is anything to be taken, we will take it. And that will be this area searched, then we won't have to come back. Okay. I'd be disappointed if there's nothing here. Is that it? That was, that was it. There's nothing. Unbelievable. And yet, unbelievable. Oh! Okay. Gonna check out another stash here, a couple of other locations. Alright, we got a few creatures here that maybe we can loot. Not sure if anyone's taken the meat yet. Let's have a look. Yep. Yep. Same with this guy too, I reckon. No. Interesting. Normally the stalkers go right for this stuff. Yeah, he's, he's definitely had his meat taken. Strange. Very picky. Okay, we're going to try and grab this without any drama. And that one had nothing. 
Yeah, I live in hope. Okay. Alright, we're just going to go run down this area here. There'll be a little bit more to grab. Just wait for our stamina to refresh. Just to take a quick stock. We've actually got... So we got some water. we got a few portions of water. we got lots of food now, which is good. we got some vodka, which is always nice. Mutant parts, which will sell. Um, these old ammo parts, these will sell. So we got... We got some money. And we're almost at four grand. We haven't even done any missions yet. Alright, sometimes there are loot on these chunks here. Just gonna check inside. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, we got nothing here. That's fine. Lastly, we check this. And we do have some Kevlar plates, which is cool. These will sell quite nicely. And I will sell both of these. Okay, now, usually there's a bit of action up here. I'm just going to have a quick look and see what's up here. See if there are any bodies worth looting. Usually stalkers and mutants that have taken them down. Yes, I know, my friend. It's okay. It's okay. If you need training, I will just smash the cigarettes, okay? You'll just you'll be smoking a pack a day or more, and that will get your lung capacity up, okay? So just keep that in mind. Alright, if you don't perform, you get the cigarette. It rubs the lotion on its skin. Is that something on there? Looks like something on there. Looks like ammo. That's the thing. I'll take it. I'm not interested in 9x18, but we'll sell it. That's fine. I don't think we need to keep this on us. Alright, nothing in here. Sometimes there is. So there is one last section that we can check. And this section may actually have some mutants. Just along this edge of the map that we're looking in now. That direction. Alright, so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to pop a caffeine tablet, or two, you know. Just going to see if we can track it a little bit. Just wait for our stamina levels. This stamina thing will be painful early on, but it won't be a problem going forward after a certain point. And it'll be something I'm looking to uh, fix pretty quickly. But for now, we are searching for the things for the almighty monolith. 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 Right, what do we got in here? Anything? Got anything? I'll flick this to auto. Because I don't trust stuff not coming up out of there. Stuff not coming from this direction. It happens. Far too frequently. Alright. Well, we still have bandits to take out in Jupiter. At the checkpoint, they tell me. And we'll be doing it solo. Which is doable. It's always a little bit dicey. But it's doable. Okay. Pop. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Come on. There we go. We got anything in there? We got nothing. I think I can see a dead dog up there. So hopefully whatever mobs were up that way are dead. And we don't have to worry about it. I'm going to be a little bit careful though. I'm going to run around with my piece out this time. Just to be sure. Oh, wow. Look at this. Yep, we got some good stuff here. Plastic jar. We'll grab all of this stuff. We'll need it all. Whatever we can't use immediately will be sold. Where is this dog? Is it just up here? 
It was a dead something I saw, right? Like a... There's something there. Alright, we're just gonna head into this bus and do a quick recce. Yeah, we're gonna fast time it a little bit. Not seeing anything out the back here. Usually if there's any drummers, it's normally like a pack of dogs over that way. Uh, what is that? What is that? The hell is even that? Someone got stretched. Someone got spaghettified. Damn. <laughs> that is messed up. I'm afraid to even touch this in case it bugs out the game. Alright, we're just gonna let you be, my friend. Yeah, well, so he got taken out by something. Physics, by the looks of it. He got taken out by physics. Alright, let's... Okay, body is too decayed, and yet we're still going through the animation. And we can still loot. Okay, sure. Love me a good bit of dead rat. Alright, let's do a quick check in this area here. Hey, medium armor repair kit. That is a good find. That is a brilliant find. That will that will give us legs for a lot of good stuff, actually. That will be really good. We actually have a bit of money in our inventory at the moment. Not cash rubles, but money. You know what I mean. That's four kilos though, that's really pushing us over. We're going to have to deal with it because there's no way I want to drop any of this stuff. That was... that was a peal of thunder. I'm hoping it was a peal of thunder and it wasn't a mutant somewhere. Really don't need to be attacked by a mutant right now. You know what? We're just gonna pop this. There'll be more where that came from. Don't you worry. Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. Not seeing any bodies here. Oh, here we go. There we go. Alright, so that other stalker must have been taken down by this lovely chap. And he's been looted, that's predictable. Okay, what have we got here? Anything? Not really. Alright, just gonna go and check this container and we've done a full circuit so we can continue on with our goals. Okay. Now we don't have any friends. We're still Nigel, no friends. That's fine. We'll go and do this task ourselves. I was hoping that we could pick up a buddy, but there's no one here that isn't sucking the barrel of their own gun, so I think we're good. I think we're good. Have we spoken to you? We haven't. Hmm. Yep, we've spoken to him. Alright, what is the time? It's going to be about 1 o'clock, I guess. Yep, 1.30, 1.40. Come on, hop, hop. There we go. Alright, so we're going to drop all this stuff off. And then we're going to head out. We're going to gear up a little bit, just to make sure that we've got enough ammo for the job at hand. Make sure we got meds and all that good stuff. All the stuff that we can afford, at least. And we should be able to get a bit, squeeze a bit of cash out of this stuff that we got now. Yeah, okay. Alright, so that can stay. We only got two uses in that. I'll need to watch that. For now, these can all stay. Until I decide what to do with them. They can stay. These will sell. You know what? Let's just sell the stuff we got now. Okay. So they can be sold for a 
nice bit of cash. That is some loud thunder there. Gonna sell the slugs, don't need... Wow! That... Was it just me or did that jump up significantly? Yeah, it did. Holy crap. These we're gonna keep, just in case we happen to get a, a Mosin or something like that. I do want to hold on to these. Hold on to these. I don't need the 9x18s. They can go. So we do actually have... Got a fair chunk of cash behind us now. Now we have enough water, we have enough food. The only thing we don't have too much of is vodka, but I think we'll be okay. I think what we'll do is we'll spend this money on a bit more ammo. And I would also like to grab a multi-tool. Now I know I said I was going to grab a flashlight. That purchase will come next. Uh, I don't think that it's a good idea to be spending all of our hard-earned cash on this sort of stuff. Hey! You can come with. I, I can deal with that. That's fine. Uh, the bread loaves... Boar chops. Do I want... Do I want to keep the boar chops? Uh, do I? Yeah, I think I will, and I think I'll keep a bread. Seems like a good idea. Alright, so we got bits of everything else. We got... I think we got enough to sustain us, actually. I would like to get one more. Like one of these. That'll do. That'll do. Let's get out of here. Let's go and do these tasks. again. And we got a little critter. He's been looted. Not surprisingly. Now there will be penalties for death in this season. They won't be enforced by the game. They'll be enforced by me. They'll be tracked in other ways. However, for the start, deaths won't be tracked and there's a good reason for this. The penalty is going to be quite harsh and it's not something that we have the ability to counter at the moment so uh, any deaths, I'm not going to be stupid about it, I'm not just going to go running in blindly and into dumb situations but the deaths here are going to kind of be taken with a grain of salt they're just going to be, it's going to be humiliating setbacks more than anything else you can have a chuckle in the comments all right. The auto travel is also one of the mods that I'm using at the moment. It just means that when you enter a transition area, you don't get prompted. It automatically transitions you. So if you're familiar with Stalker and each of the different areas, the travel areas, then you, you can bypass that whole needing to click yes to move. I just found it wasn't necessary for me to do that. And it was just an extra, extra little additional thing I really didn't need to be doing. So I modded that out. All right, and here we are. I hear, I hear attacks. All right, so here's the checkpoint. This is where we need to go. Before we do that, I'm just going to check. Come on. Hey, 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 come on. I'm pressing buttons and it's not registering. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me? Just going to do a quick check down... Oh. Oh. Where? Okay, there's a controller down here. This answers my question. I was going to see if there was a monolith down here. I think it's down here. Maybe it's not. Oh, where is that coming from? Where is that coming from? We need hardcover. Oh, 
we need hardcover. We got something here. I don't know where it is. I can hear dogs. What is here? This is making me nervous because we got no cover out here at all. So what happens if I go up this way? Alright, so it's down there maybe. Yep, it's down that way. Alright, cool. I can deal. I don't want to have to deal with that right now. Not right now. Alright, we've got something up here. I'll take that. God damn controllers. Alright, let's just disassemble this real quick. Man, that controller had me nervous. This is not the best area to be honest, like this is... Who are you? Okay, they're zombies, we're fine. We're fine. Freaking me out like that. We've got zombies wandering around, that's cool. I'm fine with this. Alright, we got a got a thing there. Alright, so this is where it gets a little bit dicey. Let's just move in. Potentially let the zombies come up and they may take some of the fire, but I don't think it's going to work that way All right, so I did hear some shooty up here All right, we got dudes on the bridge over here. I'm not going to be able to identify them Now we're going to move in. I'm going to hope that I don't get my face shot off. Really, Bush? Really? Okay, we've got to go there. That will be one of our guys. He's patrolling. So the way this is going to work is we are going to head through these bushes. Shush! Stop making so much noise. Ah! Just going to take it nice and easy. You're probably wondering why I'm bothering to creep. It's because I have a mod installed which makes bushes a little harder to see through. Makes them more reliable cover. And that's something we want right now. Now, this is where it gets kind of interesting. As soon as I pop out, this guy's going to see me. I think we're just going to have to switch. Yeah, he's going to spot me, guaranteed. There he is. Okay, we got him. I was going to say, so the question is, did they actually see where I went? Okay, we got a dude there, I think.
Yeah, there he is. Okay, we got two more. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to push back a little more. Just in case this asshole's got a grenade. Let him get his cheeky breaky on. He will probably come out. I'm straining my eyes trying to see this guy. Is he actually there? Where are you, my friend? There he is. We can... We can drop him. Okay, we got him. Don't think he's dead, though. No, oh, he's dead. I was gonna say, but... Alright, we need to go. We're getting flanked. Still able to see us. Damn it, where are these guys hitting me from? Kind of need some hard cover. Let's go. Gonna try and scoot it. Whoa, let's not run into that. That is really hot, man. Like, really hot. Why did that suddenly just get so nuts? Freaking gunshots from the bridge and shit. Alright, we're gonna head in. Yeah, listen to it, man. It's nuts. Where is this guy? I was going to say, we should be able to see this guy at some point. There he is. Oh, hello. Clear sky. That means they probably killed the bandit. But we haven't had confirmation of that yet. Man, so many clear sky. Hoping that they don't sniff my trail around here. That would be annoying. Okay, Cliss guy gonna come here. That's actually not good for us. <laughs> That's not good for us at all. to auto. We don't have a lot of ammo. Did 
Did this guy just go up there to loot and then piss off again? I reckon he did. They're gonna loot my bodies. You sons of bitches. They did. They looted my bodies. Alright, let's just patch that up real quick. You better not be shooting me through the wall. Alright, this is a tricky spot to be in. This is tricky. Here they come. If they were smart, they'd toss a grenade through the window. Okay, that's two. be more. Come on. Here it comes. There's one of them. Two of them. That's one of them. Question is, do we get them all? I think we did. God damn. Did we get them all? Did we get them all? God damn. Yep, I am abandoning that just for now. Just gonna have a quick check up here. Hopefully it means that anyone else that heads down there is not gonna get the drop on us. We can try and get the drop on them. Fuck oh, man, so much clear sky. Alright, so we got a dude here. Oh wow. This is gonna be a hole. Wow, this is gonna be a hole. Jeez, man. Are you an ecologist? You are. Sorry, it wasn't clear sky, it was ecologists. Or all of the above. Alright, let's disassemble you. Let's just get rid of the stuff we don't need. There's going to be a lot of stuff we need to break down. That's actually not in bad condition. Let's, uh, yep, yeah, let's field strip this one. And we'll field strip this one. And that one we'll disassemble because the barrel is actually not bad. Just 71% 70, barrel. Whew, Jesus, man. save periodically. Didn't save my underwear though. Jesus. Alright, we'll grab all of that. Okay, that's looking pretty ready. I'm going to disassemble this. Ideally, I'd like to be walking out of here. Alright, we'll field strip that. I'd like to be walking out of here not overburdened. That's the goal. Okay. You've got stuff. And man, we took out a few of these pricks. These guys were geared. Really well geared, actually. 
64. Alright, we're gonna field trip this one. Uh, we got a deagle as well. I don't really care much for the deagle, so we're gonna disassemble this. That way we can get the barrel, hopefully. Uh, Alright, let's disassemble this because that's got a barrel of 60% condition. Alright, now let's just pull this back underneath where we need to be as well. I would just like to fix up a couple of things. Can I... Can I repair you without using this? Probably not. Alright, 6%. That's fine. We'll eat that. Extra weight. Dude, there's a lot of shooting going on. Holy shit, there's a lot of shooting. And there's still a couple of bodies that we haven't looted yet outside. So we need to go and check those. Let's just do that now. Not stuff around. There were a few bandits here. We took out a few bandits. I'm hoping that these guys zip straight past them to try and focus on me. There's guys there too. Shit. Okay. We need to be relatively quick about this stuff. This is... I'm gonna disassemble this. Because it's too heavy. Oh, this is not a good spot to be in. Okay. Whew. They're zombies. Whew. Not gonna lie, that made my bum hole pucker just a little. Let's build strip this boy, get him out. Type 63, this is actually not bad. Whack a uh, scope on this bad boy and he wouldn't be too bad at all. I'm tempted to keep this. I know it puts me overweight, but I am tempted to keep this. Look at the size of that group. There's a lot of them. I'm hoping that we can... What we got here? So we got this. Yeah, that's right. We shot this guy. Alright, so we got that gear. Let's disassemble. That's actually in not bad condition. I'm tempted to keep that too. That would definitely put us over, though. How are we looking for space? 42 of 38. Yeah, we're pretty overburdened. Probably not gonna... Yeah, look at our rate of recovery there. That's just getting smashed. Alright. The shotgun's gonna be more worth to us, so I'm gonna... Yep, I'm gonna disassemble this one. Looking at there, 39, pretty close. Pretty close. I'll take that. Oh. That is, that is something going on over there. Something I don't really want much part of. Do we have, do we have anything which can boost our capacity here? Probably not. Is there anything we can drop? That's another question. Could drop some of the junkier components. At the moment I just don't want to get into too much of a scrap. Because I don't know... Don't know what's going on over there. Just gonna change that actually. What are we looking like for ammo? 36, not too bad. Not too, we did burn some rounds. But it wasn't anything we couldn't afford to lose. We got enough to exfil. Should have enough to exfil. If we really need to, we can drop this Fort 500. I don't want to, I want to keep it. And I know that doesn't make for thrilling gameplay for you guys, but. Really, really, really want the shotgun. We used up a few bandages too. I like, took a bit of damage in that bit of a scuff that we had there. I oh, really used the wrong, used the wrong scarf, cloth mask. Use the one on my face instead of the one in my inventory. Whoa! 
Okay. <sighs> Jesus, guys. Let's get the shit out of me. You scare shit in me. There would be bodies over there. I think I can see them, actually. There'd be bodies over there to loot, but it's not worth going over there. We are already overburdened. Thanks to the shitty backpack and the poor capacity on this armor. It is not good. This stuff, a lot of this stuff is worth keeping though. Components. I really wish I had a buddy here. Really need a buddy. And of course by buddy I mean a pack mule. Let's look at breaking some of this stuff down. Maybe... Point four kilos. Maybe some of this would. No, there's not enough. That's the problem. There's not enough of it to be making a difference. We'll just continue to walk our asses out of here. I think might be the way to go. At least we got these guys for some extra protection. Oh wow! Hey, there's there's a body here. Come on, let me move. Let me move. Let me move. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, wow. Got a Spartan helmet. Four realsies. Oh, no. I disassembled that. No, 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 no. Oh, no, it did. It put them in. Okay, cool. This is five kilos. This is going to be too much. Yep. Okay. So now we have a choice. We have a potential Spartan helmet or we have the 4500. This one's actually in decent enough condition. We might be able to repair it. Hmm. That's a tricky one. But it is what it is. We have to do it. And now we're hungry. So this is fine. We can do this. Alright, let's go for the non-radioactive option. Hopefully that'll make me thirsty, so I can justify smashing some water as well. The amount of gear that we have... It's actually... It's not a huge amount at the... Like, it, we know it's not a huge amount, but it is enough. Like, this will be enough to net us a bit of cash. Alright, yeah, that's the precursor to thirst. Blurred vision. It'll be telling me I need water shortly, which is fine. Let's do it. Brilliant. Let's hope that's what it was and it wasn't actually an enemy tagging me. What's the time? 4.30? That's fine. Didn't actually spend as much time here as I thought we did. It's already darkening, but... Man, I thought it was a bit later than that. Breaking my balls, man. Really, really, really just want to get going. But I really, really, really want this fort. The crazy thing is, even if we fix this fort up right now, we've got so much, we've got so limited space, our capacity is so limited, that, whoa, that if we carry it and the ammo, Probably not going to be able to leave enough room for loot and stuff. Like. Okay, we got doggos over there. Now, this could be anyone. There are factions that come through here all the time up this road. Could be military. Could be loners. Could be sin. Nope. Nope, I heard monolith. We're fine. Hello, friends. I should have actually gone to see if I could recruit some of them. Didn't think about that. That was what I was originally going to check down in the tunnels there, until the controller scared me off. Just having an extra pack meal makes a huge difference. You can carry so much more. You can, you can walk away with armor and weapons and stuff and, and still try and do something with them. 
Let's just save real quick. Hedge our bets on BS. Those ecologists, man, they got the jump on me. We still came out with the upper hand, but... It's always the danger of that checkpoint. You can you can get flanked from virtually anywhere. I mean the checkpoint itself is vulnerable to attack from the outside. You can you know you can hide in the bushes and sneak your way in, but God damn, you're also vulnerable doing that from virtually anywhere. Those guys must have spotted me from the bridge, heard the gunfire, came over. Almost there, lads. We're almost there. We can do it. This will be good, man. Get this back. Take stock of our equipment. We don't have a shotgun repair kit yet, and we don't have a cleaning kit for it either. But just having this around ready to go. So, all of the components, except for the lever, which is in pretty poor condition, everything else is not too bad. And that's why it's worth holding on to. The shotguns in the ballistics overhaul mod, they're underpowered. I personally think that they're too underpowered. But we are still going to try and use them. I want to see, I want to run some tests with them and just play with them and see, see if it's justified. See if even now they're still quite powerful. I don't think they are. I think they've been nerfed to shit, but... Just wait for our breath. How many caffeine pills? No, we use them. We use them all. All gone. Let's just put this back. I have been attacked from military and random loners up here before. Just need to be careful. It's alright, we've got all the time in the world. We don't have to worry about... Don't have to worry about any of the storms, emissions... Psy storms, don't have to worry about any of that. As a monolith. That is one of the many benefits of hailing the mighty monolith. It will protect us, monolith. It will sustain us, monolith. Monolith. Well said. Why is this guy creeping? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you hunting, my dude? What are you doing? Nope, he's just gonna chad right on. You do that, my friend. Okay, we got this, almost got this Fort 500 home. Still getting these really shiny surfaces late in the afternoon. I don't like it, it doesn't look good. But I don't know how to fix it, so. Oi, oi, oi. Not much further to go now. That's cool. Sunlight coming in through like a little sliver here. I'm wasting motion. I shouldn't be doing that. I should just get down here. Accept my... Accept my task. Get my cash. Sell my goods. Got some PDAs. We could probably sell those for a bit of information. I'm not going to break these ones down. I... I could. But I'm not going to, because cash is a bit more important in this early part of the game. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Let's just see if they've got anything on them first. What do we got here? Not much. Okay. Let's take the batteries out. And let's have a look at this one. Nope, nothing on that one either. Grab the batteries. 
Put bears in. So we can sell those ones. That is perfectly fine. Let's go and sell all this other gaff. Actually, let's sell the information first. See what we got here. Found two PDAs. Nice. Not bad. Sure. We can do that. 1700. Not bad at all. That can go. 57. We don't need that. Okay, that's 60. Bang on the money. 54. In reality, a lot of this stuff is going to end up sold anyway, but for now, it's nice to have these options. Uh, that can go 56, 68. So remember, anything below 60% is going to get sold. They can get sold. So, you know, these sorts of components, it's 800 worth. Not bad. Not bad at all. Then we're going to go and sell all of the old ammo. Let's sell all of that. We'll sell the dog bits. They can go. We don't need any of that junk. Um, I suppose if we're going to try and fix this shotgun, we will keep some of the buckshot. So let's do that. So there we go. An extra almost a grand. Bang. And we haven't even completed our quest yet. These can be cooked. We'll keep these. Uh, this will keep, obviously, because that's going to come in handy. Now, because we have a bit of cash behind us, I will get us a headlamp. Let's do that now. Done. And let's turn in this job. So there we go. Stash coordinates as well. Brilliant. Any other work? <laughs> Military in cordon. Holy crap. You live in hope, my friend. Now we turn in the job for this guy. So you can see combined, it's about 15,000. Ah, uh, any work? He's going to give us the same sort of junk. Okay. Now, we got given stuff. We got given stash coordinates and bits. Let's have a look. Let's see if we got anywhere close by. I'm going to suspect that with wherever this stash is, it's probably somewhere down south. Oh, here we go. Red Forest. Yay. It's probably it. I think that was the only stash. Oh, no. There's another one down here. God damn. All the way down in Agriprom. Is that all? I think that's all. So we've got two stashes so far. Now, we could actually go and grab that other equipment, though. Put this back, put that back. Thank you. All of this can stay. We can't sell any of this stuff. The, the vendor here doesn't take any luxury goods, which is kind of shite. Uh, we could have actually sold that. I'm going to keep it for now. Now, we do need more ammo. Because we are, we are out. I was going to say we're basically out, but we are out. We are completely out. We are tapped. So let's grab that. Seems like a thing that we need right now. Uh, yeah, we've got 17,000, so we're good. We're good. Uh, 60? Yep, let's do it. Uh, in terms of water, I do want... Just one more. That's probably going to have to do us for now because he doesn't sell any of the flasks, which is fine. Which is fine. Now we do need another med kit. Let's grab that. So already we're down to 5k. You know, the money doesn't go very far. But we can potentially try and pick up this suit. So I'm just going to save. We're going to go back and see if we can grab this suit and we'll come back again. Thought that was a body then. Got excited. Boop. All right, so we just need to head back to the underground area. We need to do it relatively quickly because the mutants here will respawn. It's every 12 hours, I think it is. The mutants respawn. All of the other spawns repopulate. Probably should have left that behind. 
and then we'll have to fight them off with our precious ammo, which we don't want to be spending. Alright. Just at the end of this hallway. After this, we'll stash it all back in base, and I think that's where we'll call the episode. Just a nice little easing, a nice little teaser. Yeah, getting tired, getting tired. Also, these shadows here should be darker. I need to play around with the load order of some of these mods because this it should be apparently darker in here. And it is not. So I must have done something to the mod load order. Is there anything up here? There's nothing. I figure we'll go and have a little look down here. Maybe there's something here. Is there something here? There's nothing here. Let's go grab our armor and our weapon. The weapon we can break down. The armor we can bring back with. There we go. Alright, let's disassemble this guy. Cool. Alright. So the armor will be a nice little bonus for us to try and work towards, I think. It's not too bad, plus 16, until we come across something better, potentially. Oh, 1%. So we could just sell that. You're lucky. You're real lucky. What we could do is just strap this on right now. Because this is what? This is 16 kilos versus 8.2. 10 plus 16. So this one actually wins out. So this is... <laughs> this is 16 kilo weight carried is plus 16 so it kind of zeroes itself out this one is 8.2 kilo weight carried 10 so it actually wins out so this armor is actually for carry capacity is actually better than this one and that's kind of what i was going by you know what i'm just going to disassemble this after all that probably should have looked at that first but that's fine That's all right, we have more gear to play with, it is what it is. Let's just uh, head back this way. Oops, we're going to head back this way with our gun out, just in case. Because sometimes mutants do come up from this way. breath. Sounds like we got zombies around here somewhere. Alright, we're going to go back in this way. See if there's anything up the top here. I have seen stuff spawn in these rooms up here. We're going to check that out. Thought it was a crash. Thought it was a crash. Did you play me like that? Got anything here? We got nothing here. There's nothing at all. Except the very tired dude. Heal all. None of these guys will join my party. Pretty much guaranteed. These are all bodyguards. They will not budge. Even though they look friendly. Okay. Yep, no, I think we're good. We're not going to get anything more out of these guys. Not today. Tomorrow is another day. We may get more. Yeah, this should all be really dark. It should be virtually impossible to see in here. I'll we'll fix that. I'll we'll fix that later. But we haven't had any crashes, so I'm going to take that as a win. 
that can go. Alright, well... Pop that all back in, that can go back in. These we can worry about later, that's just a beer, that can stay. Um, what do we need? We need probably another bit of food actually, we'll keep a bit of food on us. So we've got a few things to work towards here, we got ourselves uh, an AK-74M. That looks kind of sexy. Does give us a slight boost to accuracy, which is nice. We got the medium armor repair kit, which is nice. We've got a 9x19 pistol that we could potentially fix up. So if we fix up anything first, it's probably this one that's worth going for. Uh, and then we've got the Fort 500, assuming we get a bit more carry capacity. And I just remember we do still have an outstanding quest for pseudo giant eyes. There will be another pseudo giant that spawns at the 12 hour mark, which will probably be in an hour or two. We can potentially take care of that in the next episode, though, I think. We are going to leave it here. That was the episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope this was an enjoyable first episode of the season, season two. Lots of things that will remain secret until a little bit further down the track. Not too much further, don't worry. But in the meantime, we're just gearing up. We're trying to get our hands on as much good stuff as we can. Trying to get better gear, get some good weapons. We've only really got the assault rifle at the moment. And um, just make sure that we're all meted up for any combat that we get into. That is it. Until next time. Good hunting, stalker. <laughs>